Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm in On One Photo Raw 2022, and I've got a photo I took recently up in Oregon. It's a bit of a fall scene. Even though it's late in the season, there's still some nice color, or there was when I was there, um, some nice color in the scene. But what I wanted to do in this video is show you how I enhance the fall look to take it from what it looks like to what I really want it to look like, which is basically accentuating the light and the color, but also shifting some colors to make it look a little bit more interesting colorful, more fall-like to me, make it look like a little bit more like it's peak fall season versus late fall season. Let's get into it. Here's the photo. This is uh, already cropped, and this is in Portland, Oregon, uh, under what's called the St. John's Bridge. Walked around, you can see that there's some nice yellow and, of course, some greens, but what I want to do is really accentuate some of those colors. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to hit AI Auto. I've gotten to where I really like doing that. Um, I tend to shoot or, or expose to the left, so my photos tend to be a little bit darker. That brings them up, uh, brightens them quite nicely, I think. And I want to just kind of uh, go through here and make some further refinements. And so uh, this is uh, all good through here. Uh, exposure, contrast, all that, this looks great. Down here in the temperature, I'm going to actually uh, take that a little bit, uh, uh, excuse me, to the left. I'm going to go about 5,025, something like that. I'm going to actually bump the tint up a little bit to like low 20s. So maybe something about like that. And then saturation is staying at negative 5. Vibrance, I'm going to go ahead and bump that to about 20. So if you take a look at the before and after, obviously it brightened the photo quite a bit, shifted the tone slightly. And now you can see there is some nice orange and some yellow. Obviously there's green as well, but um, I feel like I've got a good base photo to work from. And this is where I want to come in and go to the effects tab. And I'm going to get color enhancer. And this is effectively um, HSL down here at the bottom. And what I want to do is kind of adjust a massage, maybe, um, Enhance depends on how you want to define it some of these colors just to make them pop a little bit more off the screen And so the way to do that is to play with the hue of the different colors that are in the scene So for example, there's a lot of green in the scene now in this photo I'm not going to adjust that but what you could do is take the hue of the green and go left and as you can see Especially in that bottom right corner. It's a little bit more on the yellow side now instead of if I double click and send that back you can see it's more green. And if I put it back, you can also look at the grass. It's a little bit more yellow. I'm actually gonna leave the green because one of the things I did on the develop tab is make it a little bit cooler. And that green is kind of more of a cool color. So I'm kind of playing off the cool and the warm colors here. So I'm gonna leave the green the way it is without adjusting it. But I am gonna go into the yellow and make some adjustments here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take the hue of the yellow and I'm gonna go all the way to the left. And so that's gonna give me a little bit more of that orange kind of look, which is really what I'm going for here. While I'm at it, I'm gonna bump the saturation to like, you know, 10 or 11, something about like that. So I'm getting a little bit more of that warm color coming through. And then this move in the orange doing a similar thing. I'm not gonna go all the way like I did with the yellow, but I'm gonna go into like the 40s here. So like 48, 50, something like that. And you can see the impact it's had. There's so much yellow there. And by the way, I'm going to bump up the uh, saturation of that to about a 10. But there's so much uh, orange in the scene here that adjusting that hue really pops that, turns it a bit uh, into that really rich orange, you know, getting close to the reds. What I don't want to do is go all the way because that looks like really, really red. I, I, I liked it like around 48 or 50, where it's to me a really rich orange not quite red, but the point is every photo is, of course, going to be different. The point is adjust these hues as you see fit, move them around, aim them to the left to enhance those potentially greens, but definitely the yellows and the oranges. I'm not going to do anything with the red here. There wasn't really a lot of red in this scene, but any of those four, starting with the red, the, uh, the orange, the yellow, and the green, any of those four can be adjusted with the hue to really enhance the color. By the way, I always start with the green and then work towards the warmer colors simply because if you do a lot with the green and the yellow, you may not need to do as much with the orange or reds. Whereas if you come in here and start with the red or orange, you might get it uh, to be a little bit over the top. I think this is still colorful, beautiful. It has the look that I want, but it's not an over the top sort of color look. And so again, I start with the greens. This one, I didn't use it. Uh, I primarily spend my time with the yellows 
and then the oranges in most photos. Again, each photo may be a little bit different. So just keep that in mind, but that's how you can go in and really enhance those fall colors. And so if you look at the before and then the after, obviously I created a little bit more uh, orange there than existed, but it looks like it's a peak fall photo, whereas uh, in reality it was kind of late fall and there's more stuff um, that's kind of yellow and, and probably heading to brown. But with the adjustments I made, I made it a bit more orangey, kind of red, and I think it looks nice. I'm gonna do a couple of other things just to kind of wrap up this photo. Uh, I am gonna get the sunshine filter, and I'm gonna go to about 80 here. And um, I'm gonna go saturation of 10, and so that's gonna give it a nice little pop. There's the saturation. And I'm gonna give it a glow as well of about a 15. That glow really creates almost a little bit of a foggy look because it uh, for lack of a better word, it kind of blows out the highlights. That glow is popping those highlights and making them brighter, but it looks a little misty, foggy to me, and frankly, it was a foggy morning over here. Um, I could also adjust the warmth if I wanted to, and so if I do that, you can see it's creating a bit more of that intensity. I don't want to do any warmth. I'm just going to leave that at zero, but I like the sunshine filter here. There it is before and there it is after. It gives it a nice little pop of brightness. It puts a little glow in those highlights if you use the glow slider, and I think it looks nice overall. Now I'm gonna wrap it up with a vignette. I'm gonna start with a big softy, which is something I like to start with, but then I usually come in and make adjustments. So the brightness is gonna be like a negative 62 or so. My size, I'm gonna shrink to about 27. And these are just experiments, right? I just kinda of come in and do whatever I, I feel like, um, and, and just further you know, refine things. Um, I do want to adjust the center. Uh, in other words, place the center in a different area. It'll default to the dead center of the photo, but if you click that little button there, you can then drop it or just move it around if you want to like that. I'm gonna drop it here a little bit lower. I want the path to be a little bit brighter, and I'm okay with there being a little bit more darkness around the edges. It, uh, you know, when you have a path, you kind of want the path, that's the viewer's visual path, if you will, uh, through the photo. So I tend to want that to be bright because they're gonna ideally visualize themselves walking down that, so you want that to be brighter. Whereas, if you set the vignette higher, like the beginning of the path is kind of dark. If you go over here, you know, I mean, depending on the mood you're going for, I tend to like the paths uh, in my photos to be a little bit brighter, so I'm placing it down there. And if you look at the before and after, Obviously, it's a vignette, right? So it's darkening the edges, uh, but there you go. Um, and that's really the whole edit. The big deal here, of course, was color enhancer. Took me from that kind of look to that, which is, like I said, a richer kind of fall look. And overall, the AI Auto on the Develop tab, and then these filters took me from that photo. Of course, I cropped it to that photo. That's how you enhance fall photos, or at least that's how I <laughs> enhance fall photos. Season to taste, adjust the colors as you see fit, but I wanted to share that. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching, my friends. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, adios.